screwed up that time. <laughs> all right, here. It's all right. We got it. Uh, I, you just, there we are. Perfect. This is, all right, great. Well, I hope we have short clips today. Yeah, this is why I never stand on this side of the elevator fence, if you've been wondering. Yeah, I'm checking that off. That was a demerit there. Oh, well. Mr. Quackenbush. I'm not going to get my license to operate the elevator today. Oh, my, uh, heavy garbage. Hey, this is like, uh, episode 30... 33. Uh-oh. Episode 33 of Can't Chikara have the repeating Podcast numbers. Go -Go. We can't? Yes, you can. All right. Welcome to Chikara Podcast A Go Go, episode 33. That's Wiggly. <sighs> All right. This is sort of the preordained way we do things now, except we have new green and pink lights. I don't know if you can see that at home. Uh, hopefully, you wonder why we have like a sick pallor about us. The reason is because we have these awesome new green and pink lights here at the uh, Chikara Podcast Dome. And because I'm 50. <laughs> Mark <laughs> right, that too. Um, so, uh, as usual, we're going to go to a clip here. And Typically, I go and look at the format, and that tells me what I'm supposed to say next. And I think I forgot to, but I am going to take a guess that what you're going to see involves some combination of Eddie Kingston and Larry Sweeney, and it's going to be from a couple months ago, I think. Well, that's we all are. Eddie Kingston is, nothing but a common street thug. I don't even know why he's allowed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at the strength of Larry Sweeney taking down the massive girth of Eddie Kingston. Double leg trip. Fisties are flying, baby. Eddie Kingston has a heavy hand. Larry Sweeney's no slouch in that department either. Sweeney and Kingston going tit for tat. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't realize about chops is that it's not about, it's not all about the pain they dish out. It's more about the lack of humility. When you slap somebody that hard, you are disrespecting them. You're testing their manhood. It is indeed an insult. Chops sting, they knock the wind out of you, but you're not going to win a match with a chop. You're chopping that guy to see where he stands. Now look at this, Eddie Kingston just total disregard for the rules here. Bryce Rensburg needs to disqualify the man immediately. That's what you get, that's what you get. You want to goof around? Larry Sweeney's taking control right now. There you saw another chapter in the continuing story of Eddie Kingston and Larry Sweeney. Mm. Of course, we just rendered up another installment of that at the Cybernetico in Philadelphia. And that one is far from over. If you come to check us out, we've got a couple of upcoming shows. Of course, November 12th is our final 2006 show in Barnesville. It's called From Zero to Hero in Castagnoli. Then the following week, November 17th, we're in Reading for Brick. And November 18th, our final show of the season is in Hellertown. And that, of course, is called Talent Borrows, Genius Steals. So please come and see us live. And if you can't, pick us up on DVD or VHS through smartmarkvideo.com. Now, we've got somebody here. <laughs> yes, the uh, master of that Japanese movie, as a matter of fact. None other than Shane Storm is going to be speaking to us uh, in just a moment. Yeah. Next, as a we, we shot him live on location in the, in the Nevada desert. It was live until it was over. Yes. Something like that. Japanese move. So I hear there's a tag team tournament coming up in Barnesville. I'm here just to let you know that I will be there. I will be there in Barnesville. I don't know who my partner is going to be. It might be Jigsaw, Mike Quackenbush, or Psycho Sid himself. But I will be there. I will earn three points, and I will get my title shot. I already pinned Chris Hero once. So I will be there November 12th in Barnesville, and I will get a title shot. And this, this is a tambourine. Okay, that's what is it? Oh, I see what's going on. Now Fire Ant asc ascending that pole. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Big somersault off the top. It's a car crash. And look, El Hio del Ice Cream with Equinox. Big Manhattan drop. And wait a minute. What is this? He's going for the sprinkles. 
He's going for the speckles. Heel del ice cream. Oh. Just, just littering the ring with ice cream sprinkles jimmies to some. Ultra Mantis Black, the stakes have just gone through the roof. Wait, no, not a power no. move. No, referee Rams book. Not a power Put an end to this. No, no. Oh, oh, wait a minute. He's out of it. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, big kick to the face. Equinox to the top. What's he going to do? Humanity. Oh! 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 Press. oh! And that's it! Oh my god! We've got a winner, Equinox! Well, we're getting into the uh, final moments here of Chikara Podcast to Go Go episode 33, and I'm, I get misty eyed. I'm getting a little depressed myself, but here's some stuff for you to look forward to. If you want to train to be a professional wrestler, well, hey, come on down to Chikara Wrestle Factory in Philadelphia and sign up, give us a bunch of money, and we'll beat you up. Also, next week, we'll be back with even more Chikara Podcast to go-go. In the very near future, Joe will reveal all the secrets of Season 4 of Lost, and Wiggly is going to unleash a veritable salvo of podcasts on an unsuspecting internet world. Tell him. When I climb on top of that Chikara Wrestle Factory ring, I am much taller than Andre the Giant. Dig it! Wigglysworld.com, and you can find all that there. Hey, speaking of uh, Macho King, where's uh, Holy Cow been? We need him back on the show. Holy Cow? Yeah. Remember he was he like was an episode, episode five, five or something, yeah. wasn't he? Mm-hmm. It's sad that we both knew that. He's a five time, five time, five time episode five cow. That's well, enough of that. Yep, off the Dunkin' Donuts we go. See you next week. <laughs>